Well, just as I thought. Too tall to fit into the usual studio. We'll have to record somewhere else. I don't know if this will do. Try moving the line over this way. But it doesn't look like uh, it's gonna go. Doesn't look like it. Well, I guess this is gonna have to do. <sighs> Alright. Alright, hello guys, this is Eli J. Brown Flash Brony, and, and welcome to another Hero Factory mock video. And this is a mock that is based upon the drone that was shown in the Hero Factory movie Rise of the Rookies, the first installment of the Hero Factory series. And this is basically supposed to be something that looks like the drone. It's not meant to be a replica of the movie because, well, for one thing, I don't have all of the parts that I would need to make a perfect replica. And also, uh, last time I checked, there were no official instructions, so I could be wrong, but I haven't seen any official instructions on how to build the uh, drone. I know that it was a contest model that somebody had, uh, had made to be shown in the uh, movie, <laughs> which is quite interesting. How a how a mock ended up um, in an official movie, but anyway, this is supposed to be a representation of the drone that was shown in Rise of the Rookies using the character and creature building system. I'm actually going to move the camera around to show you all the uh, details. Okay. So, here we have the uh, drone, and it is very large and extremely tall. It cannot even fit into the usual filming studio, which is quite unfortunate. I certainly hate when that sort of thing happens, and I have to record somewhere else. Now the drone here that I have made uses mostly the modern character and creature building system part. Uses a lot of the armor pieces, a lot of the silver armor pieces that I've had, plus a few of the black armor pieces that I've had. And let me tell you, this model right here uses a total of nine main body pieces all across the body. Nine. Two in each leg, then I use two uh, uh, for the lower body. I use one of the extra, uh, the extra thinner ones, and then one of the extra long ones in the center of the body. And then two are used for the shoulders, and one is used for the back. I did my best to cover as as much as possible with all the uh, open gaps. And there still are a few open gaps, but I did cover as many as I possibly could. Now I did have quite a lot of the silver armor pieces. In fact, I barely have any silver pieces left over after making this, at least in the Character and Creature Building System series. Now, I, I did try a lot of things to replicate the, uh, the blasters. I do not have any of the spare blasters, so I had to go ahead and try to create my own blasters. And what I ended up with was using the Brain Attack series main body pieces, for the lower arms, and then one of the silver uh, Savage Planet uh, add-on pieces. 
and then one of the sonic speakers used uh, from Breakout Series Stringer. And that is what I used for the blasters on each of the drone's hands. Now I did go ahead and use one of the uh, Vakama disc launcher pieces, which was present on the original. And this right here is a canister top to uh, one of the small canisters where you could get the Karata in. Just used one of those because I had it. I don't know if I still have any of those uh, uh, Karata containers. But I still had at least one lid. And there is a friction hole that can be used. And that is what I did use. It's supposed to represent the cannon or whatever it's supposed to be. That is in the center of the chest. He's kind of bending over a little bit. And for the, uh, the power packs on the back, used a couple of the 2.0 series or 3.0 series main body pieces on the large Savage Planet paw pieces. They also used one of the silver ones for the top part of the head and used a translucent four long size uh, green armor piece to represent, I think it is supposed to be the drone's eye or something. Although I think that the visual the visual point of the drone is supposed to be on the top of the head, as we have shown in the, uh, the Rise of the Rookies movie. Now the drone here is, well, it's supported by three leg joints. It had to be three in order to get this to be as tall as I wanted it to. And it was not easy for me to be able to find all of the pieces that I would need to finish off the legs. But in the end, I did manage to do it. Now, I think that as far as uh, the scale goes for this thing, I think that it would be about the... Uh, I think that it would work in scale with the hero minifigures because if you've seen in the uh, in the uh, movie, you'll notice that when Stormer jumps onto the back of the drone, you'll notice that he is a lot smaller compared to the drone than he would be on the actual set. I mean, he was shown to be like this small right here when shown to go on the drone. The actual figure is a lot bigger than that. So it pretty much is a drone that would only work in in scale accuracy to the mini figures, but not for the large scale figures themselves. So that is my version of the drone. I just felt like it would be a fun thing to try out. And um, I thank you for watching and I will see you again next time.